The research project that Dr. Lee and I collaborate on involves uh, determining the antiviral effects and the antibacterial effects of EGCG and extract from green tea. Uh, my part of this project involves looking at the effect that EGCG had on the uh, infection of herpes simplex virus 1. We've expanded this project to also look at the effect that EGCG and other extracts from green tea have on HSV1 and HSV2. We're also looking at the effect that theoflavins from black tea would have on the replication of HSV1 and HSV2 as well. Right, and uh, we also work on the antimicrobial activities of this EGCG or EGCG ester. And one is water soluble, the other one is uh, lipid soluble. So one can use this uh, as a cream format. And I think there's a group of students, they, they work on both projects, yes. right? And we have, actually we have one paper uh, with the EGCG ester and EGCG that has been published on the herpes. That's herpes simplex type 1, type right? one yes. and we are actually trying to do the type 2. That is the one actually involving sexually transmitted disease. And we have all these uh, students working on the profilings on this EGCG on antibacteria. It's the Indian spice. The Indian spice, <laughs> yes, from turmeric. And yeah. so we're also looking at the antiviral properties of curcumin on HSV1 and HSV2. So we're sort of a, we are, our focus in the lab actually are the nature products, the small molecules extracted from the nature product. I think that is a trend for this day for the new drug development. Okay? Hi, my name is Dan Flores. I'm um, working with curcumin, an extract of turmeric, uh, which is an Indian spice. Um, I'm using uh, curcumin to determine the inhibitory effects it has on HSV1 and HSV2. Hi, my name is Umi Habiba and I am a graduate student at Montclair State University working in Dr. Lee's lab for the past two years. I am also a very proud Novartis Scholar um, for the Novartis Scholarship for 2011. Um, and for the past two years, they've been very, it's been helpful towards our research. We have several compounds, natural compounds that we've been working with. Um, we have GTP, green tea polyphenol, lipophilic tea polyphenol, LTP, epigallocadogen gallate, um, EGCG, known as EGCG, and the ester form of that. Um, these four compounds show very promising results um, in antibiotic synergism, and we see that um, through several um, uh, experiments already that they have synergistic effect with 12 selected antibiotics. Um, in our lab, we're working with 12 microorganisms, um, some pathogenic and known to cause diseases in humans. Um, and we've seen results um, in the inhibition of growth of these bacteria with these green tea polyphenols. Um, we are currently working um, with several um, projects with these compounds. Um, one of them that we're mainly interested in now is biofilm formation.
Hi, my name is Hassan Tahir. I am a junior at Montclair State University. I am a molecular bio major with a chem minor. I am currently doing research in Dr. Lee's lab for the past semester and this semester as well. I will be doing it for the next year during my senior year. Um, I am a member of the SHIP program here at Montclair State University, which is sponsored by Merck and Roche. Um, I do research with Umi in the lab as well as Rima and Eric. We are working with EGCG, which is a non-toxic compound, which is derived from green tea. We are right now using it to test its effects in aiding the inhibition of biofilm formation in the bacteria Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Afterwards, we will take our research to a molecular level by viewing the genes which are active in transcribing the biofilm, as well as using TEM for morphology studies of both aided and non-aided EGCG compounds on bacteria. Hi, my name is Nadia Sheikh. I'm currently a senior at Montclair State University. I work in Dr. Lee's lab with Nazarin and Maylin. My research currently focuses on the inhibitory effects of these green tea polyphenols on endospore germination, specifically the outgrowth of the endospores into vegetative cells. Um, my research has currently looked at the inhibitory effects in Bacillus megaterium and is going to start focusing on two other Bacillus species, Bacillus cereus and Bacillus subtilis. We have found a range of inhibitory effects of 64% inhibition to 100% inhibition in Bacillus megaterium, with the 100% being EGCG. We look forward to this research because it can prevent a lot of food spoilage as well as contamination in medical devices and hopefully look at why dormant spores can actually be inhibited.